we all know that you clicked on this video due to this absolutely incredible thumbnail of what I can only imagine in the future being the most badass starter island. For now, oh wow, we have a long way to go. There is quite a few things that we have to do in preparation for this build itself and one of the quick things that we should do to start off with is I want to be able to get a lot easier trades from all of my villagers. So what I want to do is I want to build a little villager converter so it's going to be 20 times easy to just get much much better prices. There should be all the materials that I need to have a couple of extra building blocks to maybe extend a little bit out right here which I should actually quickly do. Not exactly sure how much space I'll need but too much is much better than too little. Let's quickly set up this little trading spot since I'm going to be very honest with you man this in here is just not good enough. <laughs> okay so what we need to start off with is to do 13 blocks so I might actually have to extend a little bit. Let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah I need to extend out a lot. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this right here is the area that we'll need. And then in front of every other block we gotta place a pistons just like this right here two pieces of redstone in front of each and one of these which for some reason i got wit power <laughs> all right i'm quickly realizing i should probably have done this on the other side actually okay so we flipped it around then what we gotta do is fill it in all the way around and we gotta grab our trap doors all the way at the front right here so i think i'm gonna do three stone masons since i want it bunch of materials from those guys then i'm gonna place two brewing stands as well so i can do the rotten flesh trades then all we gotta do is place levers all the way through the back right here so the actual pistons go up for the good safety of our villagers and then between each of these we do two blocks i'm realizing that I decided to change it around before because I thought it was flipped, but now I'm realizing that I was actually correct by doing it before. So now we're going to keep it this way. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part, but we got to fill in on each side right here with two blocks. Just fill it in all the way through right here because this right here in the back is where the zombie is going to be. And I suppose we can do a nice little chisel stone roof for the guy because, you know, uh, let, let's fancy it out for him a little bit. Then apparently the good trick is we just do blocks all the way through here so we actually make the villagers themselves easily get into here so we don't really have to worry too much about it. So supposedly now all we really have to do is to release some villagers. So let's just start off by getting this guy released. Okay, it's a promising start, it's a promising start. Okay, yeah. All right, found issue number one. This is why we test things. Okay, I think he just fell down. I think I kind of missed it. Okay, that's number one. Oh, that, oh, that other guy also went in by himself. Okay, so we need four more. I still need one more villager right now, but I actually don't even have enough villagers. So I need to get these two guys that's in here, this guy and the other guy. I need these guys to start breeding. I only need to get a zombie over here, which is kind of like, you know, I gotta wait for nighttime, but as soon as it is nighttime, we can trap that guy over here and see how this thing works. So we just gotta get Brody inside here, if he can just follow me. Come on, come on, come on, you got this, you got this, you got this. Then I'm just gonna run through, block, block, and that should be it, I think. Yeah, look, they're all now, exactly. Oh no, actually not all of them. See if he can get these guys. See, I'm not certain how many of these guys I can hit with one, but let's see if I do that. I definitely hit that guy, hit that guy. Ooh, I actually got three of them. Okay, cool. I think I might actually switch this one out and make this last guy uh, a farmer since I have so many pumpkin traits that I can do. So let's start working on this island right here. I'm just gonna slowly but surely make my progress on its way up. I feel like even though it's like at least important thing, it's still such an important thing to actually have the island look pretty freaking cool. So I'm just making sure I'm mixing a bunch of different blocks to make it look as cool as possible without being overly crazy. But a little bit later, you'll see me add in some more details that does make it go maybe a little bit crazier. But I'm also telling you right now, it looks pretty freaking dope, man. A quick little midway through break right here. I just hit level 100. I had to get some more gravel so I can actually get more dirt. But look at this, bro. 100, man. That's This farm is epic. This farm is really, really good. They just keep on coming, man. I found the right position right here. Well, they keep on noticing me so they're like the farm won't stop now i can just keep on going for little ever oh damn i'm back i have no idea what to talk about um so like skyblock is pretty cool it's pretty fun to do if you guys are enjoying these videos and you want me to do more of these do make sure to leave a like down below and a comment telling me what i can do to improve these videos do you want it to be faster paced do you want it to be slower paced i don't think anyone wants them to be slower paced because they've been really slow paced and if you haven't noticed 
I've been trying with the last couple of videos to speed them a little bit up to make it a little bit more interesting. So tell me if you enjoy it and if you don't enjoy it, let me know what else I can do to improve these videos and do my best work as possible because I'm having so much fun doing this and you're not seeing me stop anytime soon. It's details like this right here that makes something like this so much better, man. Like these lanterns right here, adding them all around the island itself is gonna look so freaking cool, especially at nighttime, man. I'm, this was worth it, bro. This took forever, but I'm telling you, it's worth it, man. It looks so, oh, it looks badass. The entire island is now done, you can kind of see it from here, but I wanted to go over to this place right here, so just extending my little platform running place out here, because I want dark wood for this build as well. We just gotta do what we do best and chop down this tree. This better give me enough saplings, imagine if it doesn't. Of course we can take all this free dirt as well while we at it. Saves me a little bit of time inside the gold farm. I'm only seeing two saplings right now. You better give me more. Okay, I think I see one up there actually. Nice. That's a double going down right there. Give me a couple more and I'll be super happy. Let's go. All right, five it is. For the next God knows how long, I'm going to be planting a bunch of trees up here and chopping them down. So I think I might need to try and give me an efficiency five axe. So a quick trip into the nether to grab all of this leather that I got right here. I even have books, but I'm just going to grab the leather take some of all my beautiful sugarcane that I turned into paper and I make myself a couple of books. I then do a little bit of wood right here and create a bookshelf and then we need to do some slaps so that we got a lectern and we got a bunch of villagers in here right now and honestly I do not care what the price is going to be. I just want one efficiency five book that's all I care for. I got almost two stacks of emeralds right here in this chest so I'm going to just use those. I don't care at all. <laughs> I just need efficiency five to not waste too much time. Let's just get a bunch of lecterns. That's going to make it way quicker. All right boys let's get this done quickly. Nope nope nope. Slip touch is cool. Let's get us some of that slip touch. Nope, 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 nope. There it is. Thank you. 41 emeralds. You are a madman, but I don't care. How the heck did you escape? Let's pop this in right here. How many levels? Five levels. We now have efficiency five. This is going to be a game changer. So I suppose that means you will catch me doing this right here for the next way too long but uh it's gotta get done it's it's got to get done man planning 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 and planning it's gonna be fun <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun i'm probably still gonna need more trees but for now i want to start building a little bit of this house right here because i have just so much i want to do i want to get going you know i just want to start seeing where this can actually take me so I'm not exactly sure 100% how I want to do this house. I have like a little outskirts right here of like some blocks that I kind of have an idea of where I want to go with all of these blocks. But again, don't exactly quote me on this because this might actually change. But I think something like where we just go up all the way around through here. And then we kind of just because we will have this like inner circle right here of the house. We'll have like a little balcony right here. Maybe over here we will have something where we can have maybe some... Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe like a pumpkin farm right here could be really cool. I then think over here where I place this one log, I want to do the nether portal. And then maybe we have like another farm right here. And I, I don't exactly know exactly where this is going, but we just got to slowly but surely take a couple of steps. I do feel like some farms and stuff up here could be really cool and add a lot to the area itself. If we just slowly but surely go like this all the way around, I think with time, something interesting is gonna like happen with this. Exactly what? That's a great question, <laughs> but something should. I really felt like going down here and adding all of these lanterns right here was such a good idea. I really feel like it adds a lot to the areas of look at how many. Yeah, I definitely should have lit up the entirety of the inside because it is hollow since I can maybe do something in there. I don't know exactly what I could do, but something could be cool to do in there. What? No idea. So what I think would be cool is that we have like one, two, three up. And then on top of those, we add more barrels on top of that. Hmm. Messed it up. <laughs> that was almost cool. I could definitely, definitely for a fact, see this going somewhere exactly where that's the main question. Let's quickly take a nap before we die to any mobs up here. Since of course I did not want to place any torches. <laughs> 
So what I think for the house inside here is that if we just go with like a floor all around, I should probably add like a little bit of andesite as well and stuff like that around in here. I think that could be pretty cool. So it's like a bit of cobblestone mixed with andesite. Yeah, I'll definitely need all these bricks and all this as well. Okay, yeah, something like this with the floor inside seems to be fine. I think we go to a time lapse to try and build this house a little bit up and then we can kind of go through details like this later on. We're doing a lot of time left for this one. Depot on the beat. Just you need some gas on. Okay, I like where it's going. I definitely think there is a lot of small details that I should fix though. Like for example, if we go up right here at the front, instead of having these right here, I think it would look much better if we did. Oh, we can actually do them like that so it ain't the same all the time. That actually might be better. That was actually by mistake, but it's kind of also just like if you do the exact same over and over and over, it does get boring. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna st actually no. Noah. I'm gonna go against what I just said. It looks better when it's the boring way. <laughs> Let's be honest. Sometimes you just gotta be honest as well. Just because it feels different doesn't make it good. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Much better. I'm definitely liking this. I feel like this is like the front facade and then I might make the middle building like a layer up and then maybe a top one more. I think something like that. So it's like four overall, but like the fourth one is rather slim. I think that could be pretty cool. Like, I think that could definitely work. I am just freestyling this, so I'll just kind of see where it goes. I'm not really exactly sure. I'm just doing whatever and seeing if it works out. But as of yet, it, it, it's worked out, man. I'm, I'm liking where it's going, at least. I want to make sure I incorporate a bunch of bricks as well with the dark oak, because I think dark oak and bricks do match together pretty well, and I also do want to stick with it. And again, spruce down here, and like, I'm trying to incorporate as many woods as I can. I don't think I want to incorporate jungle. I do not think jungle looks all that good, but the other ones do look pretty nice. Like it i think it's different but i also think it really is cool there's still more things that i want to do but i'm actually liking it i've wanted to like i always do like closed in bases so for once i actually want it to be like fully open so that you can actually see through everything like there's not going to be walls anywhere there's just going to be like open space again just to kind of keep it very different but now we're going to tackle this little place over here and i have just kind of made like a layer around to make it so that i should be able to run through this really quick also added a couple of lanterns around as you can see which actually it does a lot man like it's just like it's the same with down here at the bottom of the island i think it's the exact same theme up here and lanterns are just the best honestly anyways for this little thing right here is it's going to be very simple man we're just going to do exactly what i've already done with the layer and just kind of keep on rocking with that so we just have filled it in completely just like we have over here this path this definitely should not take me all that long before i'm done what probably would have been really cool with this right here was to make it like an animals place but i don't have any animals at all so i don't want to do i have actually ran completely out of dark oak never mind i have a bunch in here okay not a bunch but i have a little bit i think maybe the front should be dark oak as well yeah so it's like in the middle that's where the bricks are and then under, yeah that's what that's what i rather maybe something like this on here and then at the top i think i'm just gonna go around like this right here just to kind of have a little bit of a pattern i guess it's like what you would consider like slightly different i think we just quickly fill in this side right here to see if it actually works the way i think it might also gotta remember to swap out this side right here so it actually fits with the other one and then maybe if we grab our lanterns and then on the sides right here is where we add a couple of lanterns so the exact same over here right 
yeah, I think that adds a little bit to it. The front is a little weird though. I think replacing these with just full on planks works better. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but something in me tells me that if I add some slabs on top of here, it's gonna look a little better for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. I just feel like in terms of like, I have no idea why, but the aesthetics in some way makes me feel like that might, I feel like it does. What if we did this as well? Upside down stairs all the way through at the bottom. I like it. Let's try and see if we continue it up here that it actually might good. Oh wow, it actually really does. I just need a, just need to finish it off all the way through. But that comes an issue here, cause then, okay, so we gotta add another layer of these all the way through for it to connect up properly. Yeah, that helped a lot. I think that actually helped a bunch. I was thinking if I should maybe switch the stairs and the roof to just make him go up into one, but also I kind of like that it looks a little bit like different. I'm going to stick with this actually. Yeah. Yeah. This looks really cool. This looks really, really cool. So again, since we do not have any animals, or anything, basically what I want this area to be is just a pumpkin farm. I think nothing crazy, pretty freaking simple, just a cool little pumpkin. But yeah, I also managed to light this entire area up down here. So there's no mob spawning anymore. I've also managed to get some polished granite, which I think could look pretty cool somewhere. I almost ran off the edge. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. And I got a bunch of pumpkins right here. Got my water bucket as well. So what if we did like the water at like a place like this right here on the side so you couldn't really tell it was there. That right here as well, but we just kind of add a couple of slaps around so you can't even see it. Let's do the same over there actually. Then if we just hold all of this down right here and we grab our pumpkin seeds to place down. I I think I'm not actually going to do the front right here. Instead, what I want to do with those is probably just add a couple of oak fences, like maybe just exactly like this right here. So we just have something happen. Yeah, that could work. Probably then keeping in theme with the other side, I'm going to just throw in some blocks like this right here. So it's kind of the same as over here. But instead of having oak fences, maybe we just do dark wood because they're pretty cool. You know what? Let's actually do spruce just to mix it up just a little bit so it's not the exact same over and over. I've already done a bunch of oak wood, so spruce could probably be pretty cool. Let's quickly remove these and try and see. Yeah, actually, I like that. Kind of makes it like its own thing since there's already a bunch of the other stuff around there. Okay, so then we just gotta hold all of these down right here, and I believe the water can reach from the front. They can't exactly do that. Get a couple more pumpkin seeds. I'm gonna go and find some bone meal as well. 48 should plenty do it. And then let's just turn all these blocks into normal dirt instead of hanging them coarse dirt. So it kind of looks a little different to what's out here. And then you can just run through, chop all the pumpkins down. Could even do like a little path through here for now. So we can we just do something like this where it just kind of extends out here. And then like from there, it kind of reaches all the way to the house. Exact same thing over to the stairway right here. Okay, that looks pretty cool, man. That looks really, really cool, actually. Still got to do a lot more about this, man. We can't have it just this plain and boring, though. But it's a, it's a step in the right direction. Then maybe around like right here, we could do a little area where we have a bunch of wheat planted. It's just, I guess we just drop down real quick. We can always remove that later on place some water right here and then we just gotta hoe all this up oh I, I gotta remove the pots to be able to do that that's annoying oh wait maybe oh just like that oh okay i actually didn't know you could do that that's cool let's then do a handful more of spruce fences that maybe we could do something like this right here so it kind of looks like closed in in a sense and maybe we swap these two blocks out for some andesite so we kind of have the opening right there all I gotta do now is just throw down all these seeds right here and I'll bone meal them all so we can have them all grown up just to see if it actually looks good or bad. Which requires a whole bunch of bone meal. Thank God we got a billion. I do think it adds something to the area around here. Definitely makes it feel not as empty. Plus it doesn't like over exaggerate blocking any of the buildings. It's a good start. And our pumpkins have grown a couple of them. Each pumpkin is an emerald. Remember that. Maybe we kind of go with this theme around like this right here. So it's like you have like fences around the island. So kind of like sticks in like a theme of like not having to fall off, if that makes sense. I think for now that's this area. So the next I think I want to work on the actual portal itself. We 
need a piece of flint and we need a piece of iron to light the portal. Also, if you notice my inventory right here, I have one last build that I want to do and I think it's going to be looking crispy bro we have a little bit of an empty area right here i think we should add a little extra to it man added a couple of trees i'm probably gonna just add like a couple of trees this that and the other around to the island itself because it needs to just be as popping as possible but since i'm like 99 percent sure that i do not have a single piece of gravel whatsoever we gotta go to the nether well uh, hello there you should not be in here but for some reason you are that's on you i don't care all right we got a whole bunch of iron right here which i'm just gonna give a couple pieces of iron to these guys right here so hopefully they'll give me some gravel so i can then get some flint let me just quick clear on my inventory so i can even grab if they got something for me yeah 15 pieces of gravel is exactly what we needed let's just throw all of this extra stuff inside here because we're not going to be needing any of it for now i got so much nice stuff in this chest right here and this ain't even all of the stuff that i've gotten from all these trades but it's a good amount of the stuff there we are our piece of flint let's just grab a couple of nuggets right here we got a bunch of iron literally all around everywhere so go there we go flint i also need all of my blocks back because i'm i'm going in on this next build right here i need everything damn this cat is gonna have <laughs> you you will have to stay there forever man okay so let's do that real quick and that light up the portal should we probably check what it even does i have no idea where it if it puts me in the same place or not Okay, it does. Cool. And it even links back to this one, so I don't even have to break that one down there. That's cool. All right, so now we got the nether portal. One quick thing, actually. I am not exactly vibing with that up there. I think I want to do this instead and then do that. Nope, <laughs> not that. Yeah, that looks a little better. I like that a lot more. So the last two things that we gotta do is I'm gonna build this next little build right here. Well, it's not gonna be little, it's gonna be pretty decently sized. Then what I wanna do as well is I wanna get these rooms to be useful, pretty much. Gotten this, I've gotten a stairway up here and then just casual stairs going up like this right here. Up until the top roof. And honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna put in every single one of the rooms, if I'm being completely honest. I, I truly don't know, but we have them and we can just work with them from there. I'm honestly thinking that every single room is just going to be a chest room. So I just have like an area where this level is like related to like wood. And then maybe the next level right here is like a more like a stone type level. And then the last is like all sorts of random stuff. And then in here is just like a bedroom, I think. Then we also have this massive area down here, which honestly, I'm not really going to do anything with this room right here. It does look cool and... This could have been like a chess room and stuff like that. But honestly, I'd rather just use the house itself. And then maybe if we decide to do anything in the future episode, we can always do something down there. But for now, I don't want to. Basically, what I want to do is <laughs> I want to get on with this build right here. This should be fun. This should, this should add just that extra little detail to the island. We are back at our trusty watchtower right over here and this is looking good man i really feel like the windmill added something to it i feel like it was a little bland over there and i'm gonna be quite honest with you i feel like one of the main issues for me is that maybe this building right here could have been better but at the same time it's like the style that i wanted to go with because i wanted it to be so open but at the same time i'm also like it could definitely have been better but it has like a weird charm that i can't explain and i don't know why like it's like i really like it and at the same time i absolutely hate it but what i do love is that when you spend all that time billion pumpkins have grown and we can just get literal pumpkins for days and within a matter of seconds we can just quickly add 17 more emeralds to our collection since i've spent every single one that i had on all of these builds I can't be the only one who is like really annoyed right now by the fact that I'm literally so close to level 100 and I'm not at the actual level. So you know what? Let's quickly get to level 100. 
Oh, damn, you guys are really not gonna be... Oh, you're... I'm so close. Pretty cool. We are literally at day 100 right now. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, I've been spending a lot of time in this one, man. 100 days at this point. These bills have taken forever, though. Last but not least, get me back to level 100. There we are. Back to level 100, man. You know it had to be done. Okay, so there's a couple things I want to do right now. One of them is actually make the la 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 excuse and why I can't even speak. Let's do step number one and actually make this room right here into something that's remotely cool looking. Let's have a crafting table in the corner right here. I want to grab, actually, let's see how we do this one. Maybe we do spruce wood in the back and then we have like a triple bed because you know over exaggeration at its finest we do something like this right here on the sides i'm gonna add some red dye to it i feel like the red beds look just a little better than the boring boring white beds like that and then not that i think something like this right here will works fine or you know what let's do a whole different that instead yeah i prefer that that looks better maybe over in the corner right here we add another crafting table just to kind of spice it up a little bit so then we get a, you know what yeah we do even one more for the other and then if we grab our lanterns and put a lantern here and a lantern right there. close this one off because i don't need to run back and forth from that anymore and then maybe right here we have the stairs outside but i kind of feel like having stairs inside here as well just so you don't have to have to run outside here so you can go from outside and from down here suppose if we just make a god tier amount of chests we can kind of start working with that okay so this actually presents an issue where maybe i'll have to do the floor of slabs instead yeah that's exactly what i, well, I would be lying if i said that is an issue that's not really an issue that's just going to give me more wood back then maybe in the corners since i am an absolute madman we do even more crafting tables because <laughs> you know what crafting tables are pretty cool and then we do like double chests let's be honest you don't really need anything else than just like chests around if we're being completely honest right maybe we do like singles right here and then some more singles right here and because it's cool <laughs> we'll do even more crafting tables right here so we have these like split up with crafting tables in the middle or you know what matter of fact put in some good old furnaces instead that's cool i like that I kind of don't actually need to change out the whole roof, just the insides right here. So maybe we actually do just that right here. Maybe we just throw down a whole bunch of crafting tables on the side right here instead. I think that's probably actually going to be it for this room right here. I have this pathway down right here, so I don't actually want to use anything on this side right here. This can kind of just be open. So that's basically this room done. And the rest of the rooms, I think I'll just kind of add as we go on in the future, since they are literally pointless right now. <laughs> They're genuinely pointless, man. Like, there's nothing that I need for these rooms right now. I don't really need all that much chest space, so this building was just kind of built for a thumbnail. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I feel like this room is the only one that matters, and then as time progresses, we can then extend them further and further up. So instead of me just doing a bunch of random chest rooms right now, I can actually do something worth while in the future whenever i find out what's actually necessary for those specific rooms something that would be really cool to do is to get a bunch of item frames i think that would be that actually would be super so i can kind of keep track of everything that i put in the specific chests yeah basically just like this right here that's really cool so i can have something like this right here where it's just literal just i guess roses is going to mean like a junk chest where i just throw like all sorts of random stuff in always dirt slash dirt chest couple tree this that and the other you guys don't want to see me actually putting all of it into the actual chest that would be just boring but i'm looking at the island and the only thing i'm thinking is that the front right here i suppose there could be more but i also feel like i should reach a point where instead of overdoing it i should kind of stop right like this right here is pretty cool maybe i add these a little bit more around on the side over here let's just throw down a bunch of these around here and see how this actually ends up looking you know what i do think that does add a little to it yeah i actually very much so like the idea of having this all the way around which i've done at this point right now oh let's chop these oh this is nice first night sleep in my beautiful new massive bed and i feel delicious <laughs> so, i don't know Okay, so I need my bucket of water, and what I want to do with that is I'm gonna do this spot right here. Throw down the water. 
I have changed my mind. It's gonna go one block further. Do a little expansion around here so everything can actually properly work out. Okay, so here's what I wanna do. I wanna do melon seeds all the way inside the middle. So then around here, we can have just our beautiful melons popping up. I do like me a big pair of melons out here. This is always nice, man. You gotta get them grown. So then hopefully they will go really quickly. And then I was kind of thinking that maybe somewhere I could do like a little sugarcane farm, but I don't really know exactly where that would fit in. But I suppose that could be like a bit more hidden away. So maybe like inside here. So that means if I remove this entire layer right there, I just have to drop down so I can build back up and fill this all the way through to the other side and just quickly water it all the way from start to finish. I should be able to just plant a bit of sugarcane around here and then, oh yeah, first off, gotta really quickly place all this back. Perfect, like that. So it just adds a little bit to this area around here. Maybe we can even do a bit of flowers around. Since I can't really get any good grass looking because, <laughs> yeah, I don't have any grass, unfortunately. I do actually want to keep the potzel. I do think the potzel adds a little to the area. I'd way rather have potzel than I'd rather have like coarse dirt or just normal dirt. Let's try and get our little trip back up here to see the island and see if we can think of anything more. I like it. I do like it. Only thing is that maybe I should have done a little bit more to the house, like I said, but other than that, I like it, bro. I think it looks really cool. The bottom, everything like that, man. This was freaking epic, bro. What a starter island, man. And no, this right here was not my starter island. I have no idea what you're talking about. What should we do for the next episode, though?